Alrighty, buddy. I think we're yeah. Can't do nothing there yet. I think we're ready. All right, Clive. Hey. We'd finish sending half the hideaway troops in across the twins, as she. I swear that girl do anything to put off visiting her old dad's grave. No excuses now, though, eh? Not quite. She said there was one final thing she had to take care of. I'm sure she'll be finished soon enough. She said that. In those words. She. Did yes. Clive. Were you born yesterday or something? There is no thing. <laughs> She'll probably be halfway to Canva by now. Oh, mid. I might still be able to catch her. Where am I going? Mid told me she was building a ship. Yeah. Is that the thing Tom's held? Obelith, have you seen Mid? Yep. In a boat. Going that way. What way? <sighs> then I'm too late. Mm, you in a hurry at all, are ya? Oh, I offered to take her across, but she wouldn't wait. Just paid for a dinghy and rode off. Oars going like the clappers. <laughs> Got some life in her, ain't she? But anyway, I was on my way up to see you, as it happens. Why don't you just stand in there? Better for you. Urgent, by the sound of it. One of your uncle's men said I was to hand it to you in person, post bleeding haste. And you're here now. Thank you, Obelith. Don't mention it. What tidings, uncle? Dear boy, my journey to Canva has been resounding success. Oh. So she's going there, and he's already there. So I can remain gap for a moon or two. I might keep a watch on those who might mean to I'll just fellowship it off. Who gives proposal your full consideration? Troubling Canva. Well That's convenient. I'll need someone to keep an eye on mid. So what? Mid got us to do all the dirty work and then just sailed off into the sunset. It uh, seems that way. Well, nothing we can do about it now. But next time you plan on visiting Sid, you might want to tie her to something before you suggest it. <laughs> oh, don't be so hard on her. Gotta admit, the dirty work was kind of fun. Everyone pitching in and all that bollocks. Just like when we built this place. <laughs> You're right. Anyway, we all set to head to the old hideaway. I could do with getting to Canva pretty sharpish. Wouldn't do to keep Lord Rosfield of the Seven High Houses waiting now, would it? Not after he asked for me personally. Go will be leaving with me. Will you mind the place while we're gone? You can count on me. Just be sure we'll give Sid and the others my regards. All right. Oh, by the way, Jill will be joining us too. She's got some things to take care of, but she'll meet us there. I hope she's telling the truth at least. Well, that's convenient. Oh, come on. What's this green plus all about? And why can't I do anything? So annoying. Oh, well, hopefully we can do that later. Do 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 Sid, I remember what you told me. But if no one is listening to what you have to say, you may as well not say it. But I will say this, old friend. Hugo Kuka is gone. 
His shadow looms over us no longer. It's a pity the Phoenix can't be in two places at once. If he'd have been with us, maybe he could have done something for the lost. Not even the Phoenix can bring people back from the dead. Lies. I've seen the Phoenix do things. Life has a beginning and an end. So we must live while we have the chance. As slaves to the crystals, but as free men. May we join you? Lady Karen, what a pleasant surprise. I thought I'd drop by and see how you were all doing before heading off to restock my supplies. sudden it wasn't the most scenic view back then but it were never as bad as this i know the blight marches on and soon there'll be no escaping sights like these so our mission remains unchanged we cannot stop until every mother crystal is gone and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in storm is Drake's tail in the crystalline dominion. Our next target. We're going to Twinside. It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Not that that'll stop you. But we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. <laughs> Good. Oh, I am sorry. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a travelling trader. Assuming you've no better ideas. You wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> you letting me go with them? Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> Stop that, you break me bones, you great galoot. <laughs> There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Boklad markets. It's managed by the Merchants oh. Guild. Just show them Goots' traders pass and you'll be on your way. It'll be a damn sight <laughs> less risky than footing it the length of the Crystal Road. That's for sure. Thank you, Karen. And glad to have you with us, Goots. Oh, oh, okay then. I'll get me things and I'll meet yous there. See yous down in Bucklad. Get off! Me poor fingers! <laughs> Jill, you're with me. Understood. And Gav? Already on my way, Captain. Be careful. Aren't I always? <laughs> I mean, you do have an aisle. Or an eye out. Okay. You see that, Sid? Your protege is making a proper little outlaw of himself. Hmm. We're all walking off in different directions. Do 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 do. Oh, I can go back to the hideaway. Quickly do that side quest.
Where is it? forget to read these. I wonder if the hideaway ledge is so very high, so I want to something that might need your attention. Maybe. And by that, I mean immediately. You know, Robbie. Yes. Oh. Trouble with the ledges. Shouldn't he be asking Otto for help? I say it ain't right with that hound of yours. When it pleases your lordship, come pay a visit to me at the toll. What could be wrong with Torgor? He seemed well enough when I last saw him. Yeah, he did, didn't he? A bone to pick. Oh, nice. He swallowed a bone again. What's he like? He helped Dragon Black fall out of the dumps the other day. The thing is, I reckon he's gone for himself back in. I'm <laughs> judging by the droop of his jaws lately, so I'm thinking maybe it weren't just the lever that was on his mind. Maybe there's a doubt in the chap and the pitchforks into his privates. I know you're a busy bloke, but next time you find yourself free, you could go and ask the old bastard what's got him so hot and bothered. Assuming that he ain't just the forge. Sure. Hopefully it's nothing. But I should speak to Blackthorn just in case. Easy renown. Okay, let's go. Google's quests better be cute. Blackthorn. Not really. This won't. I just wanted to ask that you might still be doubting your craft. Perhaps you're. Jesus Christ. I got your note. You think something's wrong with Torgor? So you can read. Congratulations. She's such a... <laughs> I didn't say I were wrong with him. I said some weren't right. He's not been eating me treats. He used to love cracking the bones from Molly's boiled brown, but now he won't so much as look at him. I didn't like him, which is why I'm of a mind that his mind's on somewhere else. Did you, you change the recipe? Too hard, have you? No harder than usual. <laughs> is that it, boy? Do you need a rest? Uh, yes. What was no? he said he was? A frost wolf. That's what the lawsman seems to think. Then maybe this all has something to do with whatever it is that's woken inside him. I suppose things have been different since Rosaleth. Perhaps Hippocrates knows something. Instead of everything, you mean? Perhaps. Right, let's go then. Oh. Why oh, is she still got a thing on her? You're looking well, Karen. What do you want? I want to know about the sword you showed Blackthorn. Running around up. I suppose I am. Little one, isn't it? Which one? Oh. That's gonna have to wait because I can't go anywhere else at the moment. Lawsman, actually, I wrote oh, and if. Oh, wait, this is the dog, it isn't may it? It will be that the bones Lady Karen is accustomed to providing are no longer sufficient. Frost wolves, after all, habitually prey upon far larger animals whose bones may yield altogether different nutrients. As to where one might find a suitable substitute, some antelopes that graze the meadows of eastern Rosaria have been known to grow to a size more than double that of their lesser cousins. Oh, really? I recall ever seeing any that large. And little wonder. The oldest and largest such creatures rarely leave the safety of the highlands for fear of predators. The last elder antelope sighting I recall hearing about 
took place near Cressida, and that was long before the village was abandoned. Even so, it seems like a good place to start. Good hunting, Clive. Still never drinking again. Jesus. So now and then tonight she'll have another bottle of wine and it'll all, all hell just break loose. Never ending. Mid told me she was building a ship. Clive. Did you get my letter? Yeah. That's why I'm here. We can't meet though. Shh. My eyes are for another. <laughs> a little listen I have some bad news it turns out the hideaway may be slightly behind in its payment to certain lenders and it oh I don't deal with PC stuff that's all you guys fault. that's why you're here but I swear to the goddess I thought I had the numbers square sadly that square turned out to be more of a circle Zero, you might say. <laughs> I can straighten it out, I swear, but it's going to take some time and I'm going to need help keeping it from Otto. Too late for that, I'd say. Yeah. There you are. What a surprise. So let me get this straight. You forget to pay our lenders what they're due and instead of coming straight to me, you get Clive to come to you. Now, if you'll dig you out of the hole you've dug for yourself, Clive, the man. Oh, me. <laughs> Rocks. I know. I know. I know. Go. Because. <laughs> well, I suppose this is goodbye then. Don't worry. I'm sure. Really? Oh. <laughs> Is that all for here? For now? Okay. Can't go to any of these places for now, so. Here we go. You know what? When we get here, I'm going to be right back for a bit. Five hours. Getting a little bit the lousy. Yeah. Not drowsy. Hungry. Those quests are damn right. I will be right back. Good girl. Yeah. Do 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 used to be a trade road for merchants crossing the scars. Did it? Till the Republic laid a new road wide enough to let wagons pass, and all official traffic moved there. Leaving this one for those living outside the law. Indeed. I doubt we'll be doing the whole kill today. I'm so lucky. Safe. Really? I take it there's danger on the. Oh. Well, how did oh, we each? Well, if I'm. Right. 
flip a flop. I'm not sure I trust those two. Go and see. Bandits lying in wait. I should probably take care of them. Look lively, you lot. We've got guests. What a finish. That's them dealt with. Now, where's that card? Is it mine now? Just saying. Getting all of this out of here will be a nightmare. Mm. Seems we found ourselves the right man for the job, wouldn't you say? Found the cart and didn't leave a single bastard breathing. Our merchant friend will be delighted. And how exactly will he be getting his goods out of here? You leave that to us. After all, it'd be wrong to make such a fine warrior haul cabbages to market. You've done your part, and that's all you need to worry about. Here. It's been a pleasure. Now piss off. <laughs> There's no need to be so rude, brother. What if we want his help again next time? Well. No promises. See ya. I see the Dalmecs lag behind Rosaria when it comes to bridge building. The fallen ruin should hold at least. You hope. The path continues on the other side. Does it? I haven't seen these guys for a while. Candy and sprint and there we go. Thank you very much, Clive. Oh, have I found it? Oh, 
Look at those waterfalls. Nice. So this is the Mechas. The land of the gods. Self-proclaimed. It's more impressive than I imagined. I remember being captivated by the story as a child. Long, long ago, man was overcome by avarice and challenged the gods in a bid to win their power. The final battle took place here, at these falls. Or so the legend goes. If anyone ever manages to plumb those depths, perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. That the gods emerged victorious and punished man for his defiance by visiting upon him oh. two curses. Dominance in Paris. To tell the truth, I always thought it strange that the dominant and their icons were deemed a curse. Back home, the dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, not spurned. Whenever I got to that part of the story, I always assumed there must be something I'd misunderstood. Oh. You had a lot of storybooks, didn't you? In your room, I mean. When we were young. The old legends were always my favorites. Epic battles between gods and men. Father encouraged me to read as much as I could. He thought it good for my education. You really were a boy like any other, weren't you? <laughs> Just look at this place. It's enough to make you believe the legends are true. Mm. No. Oh, yeah. We're not far from Boklad. The road will be busier up ahead. And we'll have to keep our wits about us. <laughs> Clive? Something wrong? Nothing. It's nothing. Hmm. The specials. It's raining, damn. I see the reports are true, Father. You have surrendered the throne to Olivier. I have. Emperor Olivier shall rebuild the Holy Empire of Sambre. Just a child. I'm sure it's more than that being a Final Fantasy game, but as How far as we know. He, to rule an empire? Yeah. he is but a boy. I shall advise him until he comes of age. Father, please. Or for as long as I am able. The empire we seek to build needs young blood to rule. It. And I can think of none better suited to the task. Well, not even your own thunder. There is other news, Dion. Hugo Kupka is dead, and Drake's Fang destroyed. The pillars of the Republic have fallen. Ere long, the Imperial Banner shall fly over every city in storm. Mm. And then, Valisthea. All shall bow before their Emperor. Father, these are the words of a tyrant. They are the words of a god. Mm, you don't look very godlike. The emperor whom I gladly serve. Great Grieger made flesh. Okay.
Return to your camp, Dion, and ready your forces. It is time to show the world the true power of Sambrek. Father. <laughs> I find you much changed. Is this truly the path you wish to tread? Or are these the ambitions of another? Of Ultima, perhaps? What nonsense is this? I speak my mind, and my mind only. Though I do owe Annabella thanks for reminding me of certain truths. Regarding the nature of nation, of rulers, and of the divine. You will trust the words of this traitress. She betrayed her country. She slew that her child. husband. Yeah. You have ever been an invaluable servant to Sambrek, Prince Dion. I trust you will continue to serve your emperor in the wars to come. The canker! Silence! Insolent wretch! You will bend the knee. All else is heresy. Sire. Forgive me. There's more to this than meets the eye. This is over. Come, your radiance. The Rowena Syndicate awaits your pleasure. Oh, not another meeting with silly old men. They're so boring. I'm hungry, Father. Can't we have luncheon instead? <laughs> Does it pain you that you will not inherit your father's throne? Kill her now and run. I have Jesus suffered worse. <laughs> Count your blessings, Dion. For a baseborn child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher, lest your impure blood stain the throne. What do you know of my blood? One hair of a mega player, just do it, man. Jesus Christ, man, she's lived for too long. Boklab markets are to the north. We just need to hug the coast. That's that big old place, isn't it? Who's a pretty girl? Then? Infiltrating the Dominion won't be easy with the Imperials on high alert. No, his radiance has lost one capital already. We can be sure Sylvester will do everything in his power to hold on to Twinsight. Sylvester. His troops are well trained and increasingly battle hardened. But Sylvester still alone. As if we can wait for the siege to end. Piece of candy. Oh, I can reach you from down here. Nice. Time now we're out of it. Refugees. And they're all making for the crystalline dominion. Because they don't know how to live without the crystal's blessing. Oh my god. Rats. This is where we're supposed to meet Goots, isn't it? That's right. 
He said he'd wait for us here after replenishing his supplies. I dare say he'll have finished by now. Let me carry your goods. I'm there we go. Out of my sight, wretch. Oh, let's, uh, what are you looking stock for? Off on supplies. Only 20, 20 k for that one. I have lots of monies. Fuck it, let's buy it. A fine choice. Many thanks. You've a discerning eye. Many thanks. Mm. May Gilbert smile upon you. Is that him up here? from across the water come one come all feast your eyes good sir can i interest you in a... <sighs> negative how much for a measly crust of bread you won't find any cheaper not nowadays i am more than welcome to look Empire's unlawful and illegitimate occupation of the Crystalline Dominion is still in effect. Only those whose business in Twinside has been officially approved by the Republican Army will be permitted to cross the border. All who seek entry are a formal line and ready their documents for inspection. It looks like we aren't the only ones who are eager to leave. And they're checking everyone. Can't you make an exception? Not for the likes of you. We won't get through without that pass. Let's go in and find good, shall we? Do that. He must be around here somewhere. Oh, if I was a big oaf, where would I be? He's in here somewhere. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. Hey, there he is. Ah, oh, dude, there you are. Clive, I, I'm so sorry. Don't tell Nan, will you? What? Slow down, Goot. Just tell us what happened. It's betrayed us, pass. It's oh, for gone. goodness sake. We cannot ride the caravan without it. We won't even be able to get through the flipping checkpoint. Do you remember when you last saw it? It was in my pocket a minute ago. A and minute. Then a van bumped into me, and yeah, you don't think that they might have nicked it, do you? Yep, uh, that's so exactly what happened. Me. A busy market like this is prime territory for pickpockets. So, to get the pass back, we need to find this child. Where would we even start? <gasps> I, I know where. I, I've got a pal in Bocklad who might be able to help us. No one knows more about what goes on round here than she does. Where do we find her? She's the owner of the Crimson Caravans, up that way. Sound's got a red chocobo on it. No time like the present. You two go on ahead. I'm gonna check the rest of my stuff, make sure no one else is missing. All right. We'll meet you there. Let's keep an eye out for this red chocobo, then. And the other on our purses. Good idea. Treasure. Mine now. Wait, what? Bloody crimson caravan. Scooping up all the best customers. Hurry, man. Looking to hire a coach? Yeah. 
It's ten million for a two-birder to the Crystalline Dominion. Take it or leave it. Oh, we're not here for that. Then I bid you good day. Wait! Don't go, El. He's been made. As I live and breathe. Goots, what are you doing back in Boklad? You assume a lot, doesn't doesn't she? As she lives and breathes. What is she talking about? <laughs> I gather Lady Karen didn't send you. So what trouble have you got yourself into this time? Uh, it's me trader's pass. It, it got stolen. By little Ben. Of all the... You're the size of a morble. <laughs> Honestly. Ugh. Goots told us that you know the markets well. Might you have an idea which little Ben could have done this? We don't intend to punish them. We just need our pass back. Then we can be on our way. I see. So neither of you has a trader's pass either. <laughs> Not that anyone would take you for traders, but I suppose that's why you came to me, correct? Now, I can't say for sure who took your pass. But I suspect I know why they did it. Let me explain. They get across the border or the checkpoint. Don't really need to explain anything. Ah. Ever since the fist marched on the Dominion, the Republic has been clamping down on any commerce that I'm gonna go refill my drink. Which means you know, that stuff we already have know. gone from being merely a way of easing one's progress to being essential if one wishes to cross the border at all. And with demand outstripping supply, they've become a precious commodity, leading some to seek to acquire them by less than legitimate means. So the children are stealing passes to sell on the black market. Yes and no. Passes are inscribed with the names of their owners, and yet, none of the victims' names have appeared on the register of those passing through the checkpoint. Which means? That someone is doctoring the stolen passes. The same someone who is encouraging the children to steal them. And the same someone who has Goots's pass, no doubt. Whoever they are, they're ruining the livelihoods of honest merchants. Which is why we've decided to take a stand. We'll chat and then... Oh. Will you stand with us? You want to get your pass back, and we want to ensure that no more are stolen. Catch whoever's behind it all, and two birds shall be slain with a single stone. Is there any other way of getting to the Crystalline Dominion goods? They won't let you in if you're not with the caravan. <laughs> it's that, uh... I don't know, try swimming across the strip. But, but the guards will definitely <laughs> spot you if you try and do that. Like, uh, we don't want to get spotted, right? So either we find the people who took the pass, or give up all hope uh, of entering the, the Dominion. Bot accounts I need to ban after this, by the looks of it. All right. We'll help. Thank you kindly. Um, yeah. But I don't know your name. Eloise at your service. Clive. A pleasure doing business with you, Clive. The proprietor of the furniture makers by the coach stop is spearheading the search. Wear that, and he will know you for a friend. I suggest that you speak with him first. The furniture makers. Understood. Shut at you. Get out of the way, kid. Come on, come on. Joe, 
smoke of snake spit for the road? Are you the furniture maker? Looking for something in particular? Ah, and are these collared you too, eh? Then I expect you want to know more. She told me you were leading the hunt for the pickpockets. What have you learned? For one, that they're targeting the traders carrying the biggest packs. Harder to watch your back, see? And less chance of the mark giving chase if they're spotted. Not that they'd be likely to catch them. Those imps know every inch of this warren like the backs of their hands. Their eyes must have lit up when they saw Goots. The fishmonger, round by the gate, has been trying to track down the children involved. You should go and have a word with her. Thank you. I think I'll do just that. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. No. You should come with me to the Dominion. Fish for sale! Fresh sorted and smoked! Can I interest you? Ah, sorry. Message from Eloise, is it? She's asked me to help her. To help you find the pickpockets. Is that so? Suppose I better tell you what I know then. For one, this isn't a family operation. All the traders say the children who stole their passes were dirty. Dressed Ooh. in rags. Street urchins, by the sound of it. We get a lot around here. Orphans from the wars. A few, perhaps. You saw the refugees gathered by the entranceway? They're all looking for a new start in the Dominion and beyond. Some of them take it as an opportunity to rid themselves of unwanted baggage. The shame of it. Whoever's behind this would have to have made themselves known to the children at some point. And so should we. You should start with the children around here, then. I doubt they're the ones involved, but they might have heard something. It's worth a try. All right, then. Questioning children. How hard can that be? Questioning children? Cool. You should come with me to the Dominion. Or just slap them. Uh, wait, is this a... Okay. Almost guaranteed to be around the other side. Alright, the end. Do you have a moment? What do you want? What I Not. want is to know who's <laughs> asking children like you to pick pockets. I don't know. Nobody's asked me. What's picking pockets? Do you get paid for it? No, uh, you get in trouble for it. So if they come calling, you know what to tell them. I'll take the large one. Come taste my peaches. They're sweet as oh. nectar. Come and taste your peaches later. You should come with me to the Dominion. Life will be different there. Here we go quite far down. The caravan stops next to the check. There he is. Well, there she is. Excuse me. What do you want? I I, I don't have any money. It's all That's right. Shame. We're not going to hurt you. We you just want some? need to talk. What, what, what about? We've heard that some very bad people are making children like you steal from travelers. We need to know who's behind it so we can stop them. I don't know much about it, really. But my friend, Honza, he... He said he got a job doing something dangerous. Sounds promising. We need to find him and ask. Do you know where your friend might be? He's usually by the tents outside town. Thank you. You've been very helpful. Your peaches don't sound as nice as the other ladies' peaches. You sound cheap. That's that then. She must have met the refugee camp. Let's hope he's still nearby. Daddy! I 
<laughs> that big fat donkey was easy pickings. Big fat you donkey. Noticed if we rubbed his boots off him. Oh, I think we found yeah. our suspects. I wish we hadn't handed over the pass though. Could use one of those things to get out of this dump. Chance would be a fine thing. The moment they found out, they'd string us up by our guts. God, their voices would don't sound like they come out of there. Perhaps you'd like Everybody to introduce is. us to these charming characters. Shit, we're in trouble now. <laughs> what do we do? You two get caught if you want. I'm off. Hunter, where are you going? So that was Hunter, eh? Jill, you watch these two. I'm going after him. All right. If the parents come along, act like nothing ever happened. He can't have gone far. I need to find him before his. Yo, Clive, did you sprint? Did you sprint and. Daddy. My chest. God. He could be anywhere. Oh. oh shit. Cornered. It's Why did right you come down there? I'm not going to hurt you. I, I am going to, to lurk over questions. you though. Fine. And intimidate you. Choice. I'm looking for the people who are making you steal for them. Who are they? Call themselves the Carl Stones. They said they'd give me good gill if I did what they told me. I knew they were bad, but it doesn't come for free. Good didn't point. come at all half the time. Before mm -hmm. I started buzzing for them. I mean, if I didn't do it, they'd just pick on someone else. Someone they could push around easier. Hansa. You found him then? Jill. Where are the other two? Eloise is watching over them. She sent Goots and I to look for you. <laughs> you him! So much talking. I haven't got your pass anymore, if that's what you're after. I gave it to the car stones. Whatever you do to me, I can't get it back. Not that I go against them anyway. If it weren't for their gill, me and my mates would have starved. Cowards. You will not force another child to do your bidding. Wait, we're not... Don't hurt him. You're making a mistake. We're on the same side. Like hell we are. That brooch. Where did you get it? <laughs> Must it feel? <laughs> Goots. What are you doing with these people? Unless you're the ones my sister was talking about. Your sister? Eloise didn't tell us she had a brother. And why would she? I'm just her back and a blade. Theodore, at your service. Sorry about before. Theodore, what do you know of the cast stones? The <sighs> vultures who have made Balklad their hunting ground. They prey on the desperate, stealing from those with Gil and bullying those without it into joining their flock. I'd been looking into their activities in hope of sparing the refugees any further hardship. But it seems they've already stooped even lower than I'd feared. Hans is a good lad. Don't blame him for what they've made him do. If he and his friends hadn't agreed to work for the stones, some other poor souls would have. On pain of death, most likely. Clive, was it? And my sisters asked you to help put an end to the pickpocketing. Then we all want the same thing. I'll try my best. Oh, God. <laughs> Yay. Best day, good enough. Meet you, right? <clears throat> nice. Oh, 
I'm sorry. Oh, where is it? So, what's the plan? There's a plan. What else? We find the cast stones and we crush them. Yes. You get your traders pass back, and I make Bogland a safe place again. All right then. Perfect. Let's go. All right then. Honza, where are they camped? Still standing around, not doing anything. Don't worry. They'll never know you told us. Couldn't if I wanted to. They always come to town to collect the passes. Meet us outside the gate. I tried following them once, but they spotted me halfway down the trail. Said they'd string me up. We'll try it this time. Which way were they going? Back down the road towards Leighton's Cleft. To Leighton's Cleft, then? Let's go. To the south past the camp. Ambrosia won't help me here. That's a shame. If you could use your sprint, that would be great, Clive. Why isn't it assigned to a button? That's that then. Daddy. I ain't your daddy. <laughs> An area, yeah, of course, it is so it's got to be in this sort of direction, I guess. Birds, who's casting these shadows on the floor? There they are. Ten whole gill, so generous. All right, let's go take him out. Fellas. I doubt these were the ringleaders, but at least we know we're on the right track. Do, 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 do. Hey, look, more of them. Oh, they got a healer as well. Two healers. Let's take them out first. But you know what? Recruits are natural born ne'er do wells, especially the little ones. And Hans has got nimble fingers, all right. <laughs> it will be a shame when they chop them off, but till then, let's make the most of it. We just get in there and kick the rasses. Stones, I take it. They don't deserve any mercy, Clive. I wasn't planning on showing them any. We're ready when you are, Theodore. Oh, I'm ready. Let's go. Fellas. Where's your Wednesday? Yeah, let's see. Anything you can do, I can do better. Ow.
I'm defeating enemies with that attack. And they say crime doesn't pay. Gold chains, rings, purses. Ah, and traders' passes. Well, more than one. Dozens of them. That's good. We don't need to change. Not yet. I recognize some of them. No doubt Gootz's is somewhere among them. Now I just need to sort through it all and return everything to the people it was taken from. We should go and give Eloise the good news. Can we leave things here in your hands, Theodore? Of course. Oh, and, uh, be sure to tell her of the part I played, won't you? Sure. I didn't really see anything, but yes, no problem. All the way. Do, 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 do. 